I've always been that guy or that person that people say, Yeah, you would do great on YouTube. You know, you should start a YouTube channel. If you have a YouTube channel, you would do, you do great. You'd be lovely. You should start a YouTube channel. And I think at some point I was like, maybe I should start a YouTube channel. Now you give him everything he wants, you understand? No. So first things first, wow, um, this is crazy. I have drivers at the filming, at the time of filming this video, and it's been crazy. I had a couple of subscribers like before I started taking YouTube seriously, like before January, but from like this first month alone of taking YouTube seriously and uploading consistently like once or twice a week, yo, the channel has grown so much. So to all the people who are already subscribed, thank you so much. It's been super cool. It's super motivating to see the numbers go up, you know? <laughs> and that's something that I want to talk about is that, wow, the numbers can be super overwhelming. The numbers, the graphs, the charts, the percentages, you know what I'm saying? It can be super overwhelming. But as many other big YouTubers would advise as well is that you shouldn't really get caught up in the numbers. You know, you shouldn't really get caught up in, you know, looking at, checking the stats every you know, every day, every second, every minute, every hour. Um, but yo, it's been difficult. It's been super difficult not to like open um, YouTube studio and just look at whether the channel has been doing well or not, you know? Have we grown? How many new subscribers do we have? And then sometimes opening YouTube studio the next day, opening up the graphs and charts and seeing that nothing has changed, you know? Sometimes it's tough. It's even more tough to see that you might have lost a couple of subscribers and it's like, oh my days, what am I doing? What am I doing wrong, you know? It's been crazy, it's been super, super overwhelming. Oh, okay, let me not sound, make it sound like crazy. It's just been a bit stressful, you know, like looking at all the numbers and stuff, even though I am a small creator, you know what I'm saying? It even feels weird to call myself a creator. I feel like I'm just a person who makes videos. But yeah, <laughs> it's been super crazy. Um, next thing is that it's a lot of work. Like, wow, one month of doing YouTube consistently, even to just upload once a week. Once a week isn't so bad, but I definitely want to, want to do more. I want to upload at least twice a week. Um, but it's either like, what am I gonna shoot? And if I find out what I wanna shoot, it's like, how am I gonna shoot it, you know? And because I'm really thinking about the edit, you know? And how am I gonna make it interesting? Do I have the energy for this? Can I involve more people? Because I want to involve other people. So, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Um, I want to at least upload like twice a week, you know, because I just love making videos. And that's something that I've discovered is that it's actually not that hard, you know, it's actually not that hard to just shoot some stuff and edit it, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's something you really want to do. If, if you really want to do YouTube, you know, it's like, hey, bro, just shoot something. And that's something that I struggled with for the longest time, for like years, is that I had, I didn't have the best equipment or anything. I didn't have like the best phone or the best camera or the best you know, sound device. I still don't have any of those things, like the best. I still don't have the best of the, any of those things, but hey, we're using what we have, you know, and I think that's what I definitely had to um, sort of like humble myself for, is that it's like, okay, bro, don't wait around for like getting the best things, just shoot. Just do the best with what you have. Here we are, you know, but I think I definitely also fell into the whole paralysis analysis, or no? Oh, analysis paralysis sort of thing where I would have so many ideas or potential ideas on what I want to shoot or wow I could probably do this video or wow I could probably do this or I don't know shoot that but I would never execute it you know I would never get down to doing it you know I'd always have these crazy ideas and think oh, I'll do it like you know later or I would like see like oh what's doing well on YouTube right now could I do something similar oh I should try that I should do what that YouTuber is doing you know what I'm saying and now everyone wants to be Mr. Beast and it's like bro how do I even compete with Mr. Beast you know he's obviously next level but hey even Mr. Beast had to start somewhere you know what I'm saying not saying I'm gonna be Mr. Beast you know I'm first of all um, he's much um, lighter than me <laughs> yeah don't fall into the whole analysis paralysis thing kind of just pick up your camera if you have something to share if you have something to say Say it, share it, you know what I'm saying? There are people out there who would like to hear your opinions, believe it or not, you know? I feel like us as humans can kind of be caught on two sides of extremes where we either f live our lives as if the whole world revolves around us. We think everyone 
is looking at us and everyone cares about us and what we look like and what we do and we get so like caught up in how we live our lives because we think other people are paying so much attention which is not the case but then at the same time we can also get caught on the other side of that where it's like no one really cares about what I have to say no one cares about my thoughts my opinions my dreams my aspirations no one cares about me at all you know what I'm saying but no there are people who like the same things you like there are people who will find what you have to say interesting and it's all about how you convey it you know what I'm saying so how you decide to edit it how you decide to shoot it you know everyone's different so just pick up a camera and shoot something and that's what that's literally what we're trying to do just pick up a camera shoot something do the most with what you have, you know what I'm saying? No one's expecting you to be a Steven Spielberg. No one's expecting you to be crazy uh, and do crazy stuff, but hey, just pick up a camera and shoot something and put something out there, you know? Um, in the beginning, like I said, don't get caught up in the numbers, you know, because the numbers aren't gonna be there, you know? It, it, ask your mom to watch your YouTube videos. That's what I do to make myself feel better, you know? At least I know there's gonna be one view, you know, from my mother. So whatever makes you feel good, but just pick up a camera and shoot something. Something I've also been trying to do is experimenting with different types of videos, you know what I'm saying? If you look at my channel, I'm trying to do reactions. I tried to do gaming, I tried vlogs, you know, which some people won't recommend because who really cares about you, you know what I'm saying? No, vlogs are only for people who like have that following, you know, who have that people who care about their lives. I don't care about what they, what other people say, you know? I don't care about what other people say. I'm gonna post vlogs and I'm gonna document my life and I'm gonna document what goes on in it and the people in it, you know what I'm saying? So just do whatever you want, you know? So many, you know, channels say, focus on your niche, find your niche, you know what I'm saying? And focus, hone in on that to build your, I don't know, your community, but it's like, I want to do so many things, you know? I want to react to stuff because I love watching things and reacting to them for the first time. Um, and I love like animation, I love music, um, I love video games, I love um, film, I love just filming stuff in general, you know? I just love vlogging and stuff, you know? Shoving a camera in, in people's faces and. Um, having fun, you know, recording, documenting memories. I love that type of stuff. So I don't know, my channel is just gonna be full of a whole bunch of stuff until I decide that I'm really gonna focus on something once my following has reached somewhere that's like, okay, cool, now we need to focus. But for now it's like, bro, don't worry about any of that. Just shoot whatever you wanna shoot, you know, shoot like, it doesn't really matter. Just shoot anything. Or focus in on something if you want to do that. It doesn't really matter. That's the thing about YouTube is that, especially in the beginning, you can just do whatever you want. You know? There are so many blueprints and so many step-by-steps on this is how you can blow up overnight or this is how you can grow your channel in this amount of time. But it's like, bro, just do whatever you want. Don't stress too much about it because when you're still a small creator and you're not really getting paid for any of the work that you do, it's like, there isn't supposed to be that much pressure. You know what I'm saying? The pressure should be there when you're getting paid and people are starting to expect certain things from you in a certain way. And we're just not there yet, you know? It's like, bro, just do whatever you want. Bro or girl, whatever. People, just do whatever you want. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. It's been super cool. I don't know what to say. It's been super cool. I've learned so much within this past month of taking YouTube seriously and just posting stuff consistently. I've realized that it's a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work. That's all I'm gonna say. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of editing to do. But I like to get all my editing done in one sitting, which is probably maybe not the healthiest thing, but hey, it's, it's, once I'm sitting down, I wanna get it done and I'm, I'm in that creative space where it's like, okay, cool, this is what I wanna do. And I feel like if I just leave it until the next day, I'm gonna fall out of that creative, you know, I'm gonna lose my creative juices. Yeah, it's been, it's been super fun. It's been super fun. That's all I can say. If YouTube is something you really wanna do and you know you're gonna have fun doing it, I say just jump into it, you know? And that's coming from me, someone who's not a freaking PewDiePie or Mr. Beast or whatever. I'm just a random colored guy on the internet telling you to just do it, you know? Jump in there, you know, and get involved, you know? Um, share what you have to say and express yourself. Just have fun, just dive into it and see where it takes you because I'm having so much fun and this is just the beginning. If you've already subscribed, thank you. Thank you for joining me on this journey thus far. 
to any new people, hi, my name is Callum. I'm a colored guy from South Africa talking to you and letting you know what's up. Enjoy your day. Have a great one.